Yeah, and then I was like tickling the coyote. <laughs> like all of a sudden, he I didn't laugh that much. I don't know what happened. But um, oh, are we rolling? Are we? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Colin, you didn't tell me. Well, you uh, finish that story later. <laughs> yeah, that's I never it. even clapped, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's do it now. Ready? Hello, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the Don't Tell Mom podcast, episode 61 of the brother and sister duo. What up, homies? Yo, this is crazy. We're back. back. We're back together. We're back together again. Back together again. Yeah. I'm sure there's a song there somewhere. There it is. There it is. It feels so good. That's what Now I'm we can really get down to, to the nitty gritty, Colin. We can talk. Talk all the dirt. Talk y'all's all the y'all's freaking podcast, by the way, was hilarious. Yeah, we I know what I'm getting Corey for his birthday. What? A goat. <laughs> oh yeah y'all go watch that one if you hadn't yet <laughs> Corey oh, uh, he gosh. tells all I love that that was fun hey you know what I'll tell you the, this guy is made for me I mean every day <laughs> he, he keeps me laughing you know <laughs> I love him he's got the best sense of humor so uh yeah it was fun to do the podcast with him I saw y'all's y'all's was good too y'all went over it was all, a little y'all more covered all the bases to yeah. sit down like it brought me back to our, our Q&A days you know our, yeah our hey days but right. um, good question. It was good. Yeah, lots of good questions. Yeah, so thank y'all for writing in on our Instagram. If you haven't followed us on Instagram yet, go do that now. We're the Don't yeah. Tell Mom podcast. We're trying to get to ten thousand. That's the goal. Oh, should we have like three we, months? Should we show them the incentive? <gasps> yes. Should oh my sh- gosh, this is what we're gonna do to get our Instagram followers up. Okay, copy y'all gotta some, help us. Copy some of that merch, baby. Look at this. This is like special edition merch. Check out these sweet beer. You, cozies. you can't get this anywhere. Don't except tell mom beer cozies on our uh, podcast here. Yeah. Um, God, you can't get, get it. Oh, you cannot get these on the merch store. You have to get them directly from us, and we are only sending these to people that like retweet or re, you know, post our stories on Instagram and stuff like that. So, what we're gonna do? Okay, we're gonna go in and tell them, right? Yeah, or like screenshot, screenshot that you're listening to the don't and tag us, right? Like, yeah, just tag us. You promote us on your social media and tell your friends about us. The and then we'll that send you, you something else to promote us even more with. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But you'll while get, you're getting promoted uh with a beverage in it yeah we're gonna pick some winners <laughs> whoever you know reposts our stuff and like gets us out there puts our don't tell mom name out there we're gonna send you some sweet new koozies and then we've got some stickers and some other cute stuff oh um, yeah a koozie and a sticker you yeah. can't get better than that yeah where are the koozies i wanted to oh, show the other do we have them right here yeah there's like several different these are like those neoprene stretchy ones like nice i love these kind and how appropriate to be having a drink that says don't tell mom on it when you're out at the pool or hanging out with your friends and look this one looks like you're just holding uh this one's for for the folks down here in alabama yeah, roll tide. Just this look is... like you're holding a can of air <laughs> you can't even see what we're drinking all it says is don't tell mom look at that isn't that cute they are amazing colin i just went i literally y'all this is what happened i was sitting at home and i just had a little bit of money and i and i just wanted you know it's burning a hole through my pocket so i said you know what which i should spend my money on some sweet don't tell mom shit hey that that, that goes to show or say um a couple of different things we invest and we put our own money out of our own pocket into this podcast yeah. studio set all this all the lights and the cameras it's not and free the action and stuff <laughs> there's actually a um a, a thing on anchor where you can support our podcast if you would like you can donate anywhere from like a dollar to five dollars to ten dollars a month if you want to become a supporter and uh keep this thing get, going get this yeah keep this podcast alive that's um, right I'm trying let's to get find this to, it. I'm let's get to this find to year two cullen what are we gonna do on the second year oh i don't know we should do something huge where man. is where is the uh where is this I don't know. It's somewhere in the app where you can go to our profile and then hit support this podcast. And then yeah, right when you look, right when you find us, on put in your app. mom's uh, credit card. Just don't tell her. Yeah. Don't tell mom. And then, um, support us if you would like. Yeah. And, uh, you can we also send us a voice, it. a voice memo. Colin, we actually have some voice memos and we haven't done voice memos in a while. So I wanted to just see if there was any new ones on there. I, I want to say I've seen a couple pop up this, that I want to go and listen to cause I hadn't yet. Okay. I've okay. Seen them pop let me, up, let me pull it up. Oh, you want to do something else first? Let's, well, I was just going to, I was just wanted to, you know, touch back base and find out what's going on. I feel like I hadn't seen you in two weeks. So yes, while you're looking yes. for that, tell me what's been going on. I know y'all went to the beach and so you were gone. That's the reason if y'all are just tuning in, th- this is the reason that we had Katie on and, and Corey on is because they were at the beach one week and then uh, I was on vacation the next week. So we, of course, didn't want to have any laughs.
Uh oh. We're back. We're back. Sorry, and audio audio glitch that there. That's Cullen. Yep. That was all Cullen. <laughs> all me. This thing is so sensitive over here. Okay. Um, but yeah, we, y'all went to the beach. We went to. I went to L.A. Tell me about your trip, and I'll tell you about mine. Oh my gosh! Tell everybody about it. It was amazing. It was it was well needed, um, well worth it, and uh, it was all. It was just family, like just me and the kids and the wifey, and um, yeah. It was good. We it was just that's like rare. A, a y'all never good... go to the beach just y'all for real. I, I mean, y'all go to the beach a lot, but I know you're usually like with Katie's family or with friends or whatever. Like it's yeah, rare yeah. that I've ever seen y'all just go to the beach just y'all. Well, so that's what we needed. Um, we realized we needed to do more of is just like getting away as a family. We're like yeah. already looking to plan another trip or something just because one it uh, teaches our kids to play with each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that they have to when they're taking out of their little comfort zone. Yes, yeah, so we had to. Uh, we even talked about that. We're like, wait, and their cousins or um, family's going to be here? What am I going to do? And we're like, you're going to make new friends. And sure enough, we did. We made several new friends. Oh, don't move it. Don't move Sorry, it. Sorry, I just oh, want to be able oh, to see oh, too. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, so they made new friends <laughs> down at the beach. Yeah, yeah, I saw yeah. a couple <laughs> viewers actually too that nice. watched the, vi- the videos and they were there all week. So is it that weird nice. to have like somebody come up to your kid that watches y'all and like, hey? I know um, you from the internet, and your little kids, you're five years old, and like what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You no, well, she, they're kind of getting the the um, the idea sometimes, somewhat. Uh, but I know um, Gaines watches herself on the internet, so she's like, "Yeah, you yeah. saw my show." Like she probably like knows what's going on. Like, yeah, yeah, y'all yeah. Know me, but no, I think it's it's uh, it, especially in this trip, it worked out well because the uh, they they were able to just jump right in and not. I have to worry about like the small talk is just like, Oh yeah, I know who you are. Let's play. And Gaines doesn't care. She's like, Oh, it's somebody to play with. Sweet. So yeah. it worked out well as I far as it. that goes. <laughs> so thank y'all for playing with my right. daughter at the beach. Not being crazy. Right. Cause that could kind of creep um, me out. They could go one of two ways. But in, on the flip side, you were at the, fr- in the, yeah. on the West coast. The, yeah. I was with my people. Colin. California <laughs> love. Yeah. Da, 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 I belong da, da, there da, in Hollywood, baby. Da, da, da. That was my city. I was walking around vlogging. Don't care. Like didn't even think about other people looking at me funny. Cause they definitely weren't looking at me funny. <laughs> they were just like, Oh, another, another, you know, social media person, whatever. Um, but I got to see like, uh, my friend Meg, she lives right next to all these studios. So I got to see like real live, like old school cars being filmed in a movie and uh, like, yeah. like movie sets in the streets of Hollywood. I got to see all that. So that was cool. So were you like in Hollywood? Like, did you see Hollywood. the Hollywood sign? Oh yeah. I saw the Hollywood really? sign. Really? Colin, this isn't oh, my first my rodeo. Gosh. I've been actually to LA a couple times and the last time that I went it was several years ago I was still in my party days okay I was in my (laughs) 20s and it was a very interesting trip but I got in trouble actually trying to climb the fence that goes around the Hollywood sign so we had hiked up to the sign and um and then you know we were trying to climb the fence and like it, we got shut down real quick like lights came on and all this and I was they like had oh that shit thing on lockdown yeah they weren't playing so we were like yeah I know a little a little slap on the wrist like don't do that stupid <laughs> like, okay, there's sorry. like a videos of like Stevo um getting up there or and, and Vitaly who's a prankster. He like stood up on the D of the Hollywood oh, yeah. sign and uh, Steve-O did something else, but like trekked up, like they had backpacks on and like were going through the brush and camo and stuff. It's not that hard. I nah, mean, it's yeah. hiking. It's a hike, you know, yeah. you had to hike up this mountain to get to that sign, but. That's like, uh, yeah, that's what people should do for Area 51. Have you yeah. seen Storm Area 51? Colin, you're so old. You're so late on that. I We've am. been talking about Area 51 I, for a month I'm like, now. we should hike in. I mean, we should sneak into Area 51 again. But that got shut down, too, I think. They're, that would be so cool, though, if there was, like, some serious, some seriously cool shit there. But I think that they probably moved it, thinking, like, that could happen. Yeah, yeah. I think everything that is secretive and, like, everything in the whole world is in Denver, in the mountains, underneath the Denver airport. Airport. Yeah. I'll listen to a conspiracy video about that. That's what they do. They podcast. build they build shit, right? Out there in the in the desert. And then they just build like dirt on top of it, right? Have so it just seen? looks like a mountain. And it's like, wait a second, where'd that peak come from? Because I never seen that mountain before. <laughs> Every time I go to Denver, there's a new mountain. And I'm like, I am convinced that there is gas chambers under there. There's the those art pieces in the in the airport. You saw that? There's Did you? like yeah, the, um, that. The, the blue the murals. The, the blue uh horse or something. 
something that looks no, like the blue the blue horse is actually in the like as you're on the way driving into the airport Some, there's yeah. the blue horse with the red eyes and it's the the myth or whatever yeah, what yeah. they said was that he sh- the creator of the horse this art piece you know it was this big blue horse um the creator of the horse actually died because after he finished putting the horse up the horse had its laser eyes and it like shot the guy it like zapped him and killed the guy that created him he like killed his maker well, and so it's like the, an evil blue horse some of the art work in there is like like kids with gas masks on from like mm-hmm. the war and like uh, the yeah like Nazis, Nazis and, 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 and the guy with a machete and there's like a white bird it's the new world order it's crazy it's and super trippy y'all gotta check it out were, yeah the search uh, Denver airport but like there was also like um <laughs> like the freaking it, was, it got pushed back um, what two years or something, and they had like all this money, billions of dollars that were just like unaccounted for, uh-huh. and that's what they think they put the money into to build the underground stuff yeah. that nobody knows about. Because they were like, how did this projected? Because they moved from the main airport, which was somewhere else in Colorado, to this. Uh, the, that's to build the thing the is that Denver the airport. the airport was like four years old or maybe ten. Yeah. Years, no, it was ten years old, I think. And they just built a brand new airport in yeah. Denver. It was ten years old, and then they built another brand new airport. And everybody's like, "Why are y'all doing this?" Right? So here, let me just go over because I, Colin, I can go that's on so about funny this for you know a minute. About this conspiracy so well, I lived I in Denver. I had to, to find it. out about this. So I like it's been a long time since I've thought about this conspiracy theory. But back in the day, right when I moved there, I was real interested in it because I was like, "Oh, that's crazy," you know. And I was always in and out of the airport. So I could like go around and look at those murals that are a trip, the new world, uh-huh. or, you know, the crazy murals and all this. So let me just get the hot, let me just point out the highlights for you. So basically like around Denver airport, there's uh, like a fence. It's a chain link fence, but you know how like chain link fence go out and over to like, to where, you know, you can't, you can't get in. Yeah, well, yeah, there's like a lip or... A, there's a lip, yeah. you know, like curves at the top with the like spikes and the, you know, you'll die if you go in that, that thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, so at Denver Airport, though, they curve, the, the way that they curve, it goes in. It's like to keep people in. So imagine like, you know, if you've never been to Denver Airport, it's this, it's this crazy like white dome. It's very... Um, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, uh, energy efficient kind of thing. It's like a... I don't know. It just looks like this crazy white tent dome thing and it's in the middle of the desert like there's nothing around it for miles and miles and then you know there's all these like little hills and peaks it's just like in the mountains it's like the desert in the mountains well around the property which is a really you know big ass piece of property is this fence this chain link fence that's turned inward Mm -hmm. to keep you in in case yeah so when they freaking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so then (laughs) yeah let me tell you i'm gonna tell you about it so then if you ever ride the train like if you've been to denver you know you have to take the train to get to anywhere so when you're riding the train if you notice, you look out the window, and the train always goes this way and that way. But there's all these Are other you about little. To say this that it looks like a swastika. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, gosh. That's a new one. The runways. <laughs> anyway, sorry. But the but if you look in, while, while you're riding the train, there's all these different turns into different areas. And y'all, I've been through this airport numerous times, and I've never turned down any one of those turns. So it makes you think, like, well, where where do those turns go? Mm-hmm. Where does this train take me other than concourse A, B, and C? Right, you know, where right. is this going? So I've never been down there, but the conspiracy is is that um, if you, if the train goes that way and turns into one of those, you're going to a gas chamber because apparently it's just lined underneath the like under there where the train right, is. It's just yeah. lined with these huge gas chambers. So here it is to take people by yeah to take people. To the gas chambers to gas them and kill them off. Because the thing is, is like, it's the new world order. A few will become, I mean, many will become few. Like, we're going to kill off a bunch of people to save our you know, uh-huh, humanity. Uh-huh. That is so crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Y'all well, seriously and it's Google all, it's, it. It's just like, oh my God, it's government. Like, it's just, you never, you will never know. Speaking of, we kind of derailed from your uh, LA trip. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I actually stopped in Denver on the way home from my LA trip. I stopped in Denver and, oh my God, Cullen, it was the worst flight I've ever had in my life. Y'all do not book a flight for one o'clock in the morning (laughs) to land at your destination at four o'clock the next day. We left LA and my friend actually that I was out there with uh, that lives out there, she's from here. So she actually hopped on this plane back here to Alabama with me so she could see her parents. 
Well, she, um, you know, she thinks this is going to be a good idea too. We, we go sailing the last day that I'm there. So what is this? This is Sunday. So we go sailing all day. This is a whole day thing. We leave sailing like nine o'clock in the morning until sunset. Okay. And we're done sailing. And then we go and eat and go straight to the airport. Our flight leaves, supposed to leave at one, didn't end up leaving till like two 30. We fly from LAX to Denver. We get to Denver at like five o'clock in the morning. I have a friend who is a lifesaver, Maverick, because his name is Maverick. That's why he's so cool is because, <laughs> I mean, who, how do you have the name Maverick and you're not awesome? So he picks me up. I told him, I said, play hooky from work and come get us and rescue us from the airport because we have like a seven or eight hour layover in Denver. I was like, please come get us and take us to breakfast because this sucks, you know? Right. <laughs> so we get off the airplane at five o'clock in the morning. We weren't going to make Maverick come that early, but we, did, we had to be back at the airport at like 1030. So we said, okay, come pick us up at 7.30 and then take us to breakfast and bring us back by 10.30. So we uh, we get off the plane at 5. We literally sleep. Me and Meg find a corner. We've been through <laughs> some airports looking pretty rough. We looked so rough. But I still had my bathing suit on from sailing. Oh, my That's, gosh. I mean, it was That's so hilarious. bad. Like, you, you would go to the airport still in your bathing suit. I was rocking it. I was, I was living the L.A. life, baby. <laughs> Trying to come home in style. But... So, and I'm sunburnt as a mother, you know? And so then me and Meg are laying, we're like, okay, it's five o'clock. We got two hours till Maverick gets here. Let's try to sleep. We find a corner in the hotel, in the um, airport. We curl up next to each other with matching blankets that thank God we decided to go to Walgreens and buy before we left. They were $7, <laughs> best $7 I ever spent. So we had these like matching cheap ass blankets from Walgreens and we're laying on our backpacks and like, you know, we slept for two hours and it got to the point where my alarm's going off, like go meet Maverick. And I'm like, F Maverick. I'm going <laughs> to sleep. I'm sleeping because we had slept. You come get you and you're like, forget <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and Denver's like a, it's like forty five minutes from his house. The airport is. Oh my god! But uh, so anyway, we we rally. He calls, and I'm like, fine, we're coming. Fuck. So we rally, and we get up, and we go, and he takes us. to He's a lifesaver. We felt so much better. We went to like Denny's or IHOP or something like it was Village Inn, I think, in Denver. But we went out there, got some coffee and us some hot food. Um, did some other running around out there, and then got back on the plane, and came home. So, that is amazing. Thank God for good friends and and big airports. <laughs> and you know around I mean? the world, you know everybody. Yeah, that's um, true. No, I was gonna, I was gonna touch on this, the whole government thing, and how we never know anything. And it was with your travels. I don't know if you even have been up to date in the news. And I don't really like to talk about politics that much. But I'm down. I love I'd the love Jeffrey uh, Epstein. Oh my God, what, that happened while what I was do you there. Think? Oh, it's a oh, he's murdered for sure. He like, got murked. He you, got are you, shanked. That's what, yeah, it just <laughs> doesn't kidding? add up. Like, Colin, he got so shanked. And listen, this is what pissed me off: is that that oh, coward, gosh. like he didn't get like those victims of those little girls that he hurt didn't get to have their day. justice. Yeah. So the, regardless the, if it was get murked or if it was suicide or whatever, the fact is, is that he's gone. He will never have gotten convicted of those crimes because he still technically died an innocent man since he wasn't convicted of them yes so like his all of his shit like all of his um stuff will get passed down to whoever is supposed to get passed down to kind of like that football player they're you know? still going through with some of the uh, like uh, um trials and uh, charges and stuff i think i was what i read but like still like but can the, you try fact, a dead guy i know like you can't like i don't you remember the, the, okay colin you remember that football player so that killed himself in prison because he wanted his wife and kids to have stuff like his uh nfl pension or you know yeah, like they, yeah, yeah. they pay the family I, I forget who, what that guy's name is name but either. but you know what i'm saying that's i think that that's kind of if he did kill himself that's why but see that's the thing is like he was on suicide watch the cameras were off the guards that were like supposed to be watching and then they supposedly don't give you anything you know they give you like paper sheets to telling. you know the like, world is going to hell in a handbasket i'm telling you and, everybody's just running then, around there doing whatever the hell they want saying whatever they want the there's no yeah, and, well, it's like, who's gonna, he who's gonna, says, he's such a boob. I'm sorry if you're a Trump still, fan. I don't that, like the guy. That transitions into my, like neck his, thing, his my next talking point here in my notes. Did you see what I woke up to on Twitter this morning in his rally this past uh, that happened last night? No, I hadn't seen. I haven't looked at Trump the or anything. Tells a guy that got kicked out of a rally. He kicked a guy out of a rally. Let me just pull this up for you on Twitter and just let me play the audio for you. Okay. Like it's just like I don't care if you like the guy or if you dislike the guy or whatever the case may be. 
you just don't say this to what, anybody. Wait, what, what happened? What is, so you just have to see. You just have to see what, this. Well, it I'm was talk- all over Twitter. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. What does it say? Uh, let me find the video. Where's the video? Oh, my God. It was just so rude. I was like, Wait, I Wait, is this something believe. that the president said or that somebody said to him? This is something the president said to a guy that was uh, protesting at a rally. Um, oh, okay. And so it was just like... Uh, <sighs> Just something demeaning and like something totally demeaning, yeah. and it's just like made me just like, even if you do like the guy, just like have yeah. Some well, you respect. can like you can like you know like what he I don't know what he's I don't even know how you would like that. Okay, you could you could <laughs> like the fact that you feel like I understand if you feel like he's a good businessman or whatever. Which I was watching a documentary on Dirty Talk or Dirty Money. Have you seen that on Netflix? Uh uh-uh. uh It's called the um the confident man and they like highlighted con uh, and, talk, and it's like a whole kind of documentary about Trump and his life. So that's interesting. I'm halfway through that, but, uh-huh. um, but he's not like, if you think he's a good businessman, like I understand why you would vote for him. Cause you want our economy to be better. And like, I get like why people vote for him. My husband. Okay. I'm he, sorry, he is he's like a, a no, Trump guy. he's a no shitter. Like he, he says something and he does it like, you know, as right, far it's as that fine goes. For like, that's for like a change. guy that you work with or like, you know, standing around the water cooler with this guy, like, okay, yeah, he's a jerk. I'm not gonna invite him to dinner, but he gets his work done, whatever. Right. right. That kind of idea. But, <clears throat> but you don't have to hang out with him after hours. Well, to, for to put him in office is like now you have to hang out with him after hour like you're forced to i don't know it's just like the the morals and the things that we were taught growing up like how to speak to people how yes. to, how to present yes. yourself yes. in public how to um you know how to act just how to act right here it is okay then so listen he just to this doesn't know how to act right and it just blows my mind well and that's the th- you hit the nail on the head i think is like just the fact that the way i grew up is like you don't talk to people like this and this is at a rally in front of thousands of people that there's you know, kids i mean you know and i mean the yeah whole these, these watching, people are watching are this watching and they're like it. oh well it's okay to say this to somebody because the president said it but so listen to this I don't, right like, if he can say it, like every that's the exact mentality like, going listen to this From the top, bring it down. I don't know if y'all can see. Well, I know you can't hear. Um, you can't see it, right? But you can hear it. Maybe Cullen can put the clip in. I don't know. Or maybe you just go to Twitter and look at it. Listen. So he's at a he's at a rally. I'm gonna like tell you what's going on. That guy's got a serious weight problem. Go home. Start exercising. What? Get him out of here, please. Who says that? Oh my God. Who's he talking about? Than I do. Got a bigger problem than all of us. Now he goes home and his mom says, what the hell have you just done? Don't tell mom, President uh, Trump. Don't tell mom. I mean, I was what? like, I, I got to put that in the Don't Tell Mom podcast. But then I'm uh, like, why do you president. say that? The United, the President of the United the States. The first thing you say, not hey, thanks everybody for coming out <sighs> supporting me. Um, you just point a guy out of the crowd of people that are there for you. And well, say, no, he was a protester. He well, was he was anyway. he was causing a ruckus. But still, you don't. But you point a guy out of a crowd and say, wait, and, yeah, and say you're fat. You're a fat go guy. home and start exercising. And look, who are you? To, who are you to talk? Oh, no, all Trump. the memes. All the memes came out after that of oh just like pictures God. of him and like all this stuff. But just like, just a oh my gosh, I could not believe that was trending this morning when I woke up. And this is probably old news by the time this podcast go, it goes live. But right. like, still, Dang. like, Dang, so the man. Epstein thing we'll never know about. Okay, so do you and think then, that was Trump or Clinton that marked him? See, because that's one what of the I two, don't know. Here's like, the thing: is how are you how are you logged in on this man's plane when he's got fourteen year old little girls? Under the table. You right. know what I mean? Like, wh- how do you... This is what I want to happen. I want the pilots to come testify. They're probably going to get marked, too. You know well, what I mean? Well, I mean, that's the thing. It's like the whole Area 51 thing. You can't say anything or else your family or you are going to get killed. Like, just... Oh, and then the autopsy came out. Did you see that? The autopsy came out for Epstein or Epstein, however you say Oh, no. I didn't see that. What happened to They that? said that it was... Um, per, the professionals determined that it was due to... Um, choking t- due to hanging or whatever but Strength. the way the way that his uh hyboid muscle or something his neck. W- w- his it, adam's it apple. falls right under the adam's apple which in most cases re- is a result from strangulation as well so somebody went in there strangled his ass and then set it up to look like he hung himself is my yeah. guess 
Oh yeah. Where was the um? And then the, where was the, the cellmate? cellmate? Yeah. yeah, he left like the day before, and did you <laughs> see so he was just in there by himself. Did you see how ripped he was? Like he looked like freaking. Like, so he left the day before. All that is, yes. is uh, that all that is is changing Monday to Sunday, or you know, changing the number on a date. It's just so crazy how the government can like do this stuff. This and is then, like out like, of a movie, Colin. I'm like tripping if, out right now. If we did that. Like, what would happen? You know what I mean? Oh, like, jail. Like, it's just like, how can they just Forever. do this? And, yeah, you'd get the, you'd get the death Well, note. here's like, the thing. It's like, okay, they could. This, that could have been what happened. It also could be, like, a people. It could have been, like, hire, like, murder for hire. It yeah. could have been suicide. I mean, shit, let's face it. This he guy, did have, like, next- This guy, after being a billionaire, is now in prison, and he's, in, like, this is the worst conditions that you could ever imagine. Like, inhumane shit and cum on the wall. I mean, it's disgusting. <laughs> right. like, imagine just, imagine going from your penthouse in your billionaire lifestyle with your private planes to selling, or didn't sell it, to, um, yeah, selling ass for protection. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, but like to be in a little cell with, that's disgusting with, um, you know, this huge guy that's in there for murder or whatever he was in there for. I just, you know, like I could totally see him killing himself. I don't know. He's he's too narcissistic. And some of the stuff I was reading about, like, you know, he's a billionaire and he's got all this, you know, I, when you're so narcissistic or so self-absorbed with yourself, I don't, it, it'd be too hard to kill yourself. And here's you the other I mean? thing. Here's the other thing is that, um, like, prisoners, men do not like... A lot of them do not like the uh, child pedophile. That kind of like, if you did anything That's to hurt true. a woman, yeah. you're gonna have yeah. you're gonna have probably a thousand men that have daughters and wives that yeah. aren't in there for murder, but are that aren't you know what I mean? That it's will probably right up there with that don't mur- want the, a child molester. The murder, yeah, you you're probably gonna get murked being a child molester quicker than you would be in a murder, you know, like, okay, now let me say something else. And this is going to be, this is not, this is just to say and put it in the world because I, I want to just discuss it. Not because I believe in it, but you remember when dad went to China and he mm-hmm. came back and he was mm-hmm. telling us about what it was like. And he was like, Oh, the food, you can walk up to an aquarium and pick out anything you want in the aquarium. <laughs> and they grab it out of there and cook it. You don't even know what you're eating. You know, like he was telling us about the culture and how different it was in China and all this. And he said that, but one of the things that kind of shocked me was he said that he couldn't walk five foot down the street without like a 12 or 13 year old girl Mm -hmm. trying to solicit herself to him for money. So it was like, Oh gringo, Oh American man, you know, let Mm -hmm. me do sexual things to you. And Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you pay me five cents or whatever. Right. Right. So, so that puts into the conversation, the difference of cultures, right? right? So you got these billionaires that are flying all over the world in different planes. And then you have to us as Americans, we're like, Oh my God, a 14 year old girl, because it is, it's wrong. It's so fucked right. up. Right. Yes, yes. But you got a 14 year old girl and you're like, um, and you're like, that's child molesting. That's, right. you know, that's your pedophile, whatever. But then you're on the plane in China and you're with your business Chinaman people that have a plethora of them walking around because it's normal. And that's the age that a woman, you know, whatever their legal age is, is way younger, I think. Right. Or it's just normal. It's yeah. accepted, and it's not, it's not disgusting. Or what in their culture and their opinions? It's like these where mas- I think it should be, but you these know, massage parlors getting busted and stuff with these high end. Uh, the Patriots owner like had like some oh, yeah. like fallout with the rub and tugs massage parlor. That's what they call like them. They're, they're legal in Canada. Like, they're called rub and tugs. I said, Corey, did you ever go to rub and tug? He was like, no, never. And tug. <laughs> but that's what they call it. Well, what this is so crazy how all this, like I, I had some show notes written down and I haven't even gone over it with you, but it's all transitioning so well. That goes into my next uh, thing is like the older my kids get and you know, Sophia is not, even, She's six months in a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah, but like you have to think about her dating and stuff. No, I don't. And <laughs> <laughs> dating who? And like who you, wants to date? Right. Who? But so like, and then just being around this environment that is just naturally taking place in this this transition of just like sex cells and you know, um, oh God, like just like what I couldn't imagine what our mom and dad were thinking, you know, especially having a daughter like, Oh no, my SD card's full on the video. Let me go fix that. But like, you know, I just couldn't imagine what having a daughter. Yeah. I mean, it's totally different. Like here's, here's the thing that I always thought about 
or that I think about like now is that it's different than when I didn't have a a baby girl, right? Like I would think about my experience as a 14 year old or as a 12 year old, as a young lady, you know, entering that world of dating and your adolescent and your love and your, you know, puppy loves and all that stuff and your hormones and the raging and whatever. So I remember what it is like to be a young girl and be susceptible to, you know, crazies. Like we grew up in a time where it was like chat rooms and you have, I mean, I remember being in at 13, 12, 13 years old, being on a chat room in our old house, um, mm-hmm. that mom, you know, mom, our, not our old, not our first house, but our second house or whatever. But I remember sitting in that corner where we had our desk and our computer and just write and be like, Cohen would have 30 minutes and I would get 30 minutes, Amy would get 30 minutes, you know, like we'd have to take turns using our family computer. And I would sit there and I'd be in a chat room, like just chatting, talking shit, you know. It was fun. It was new, whatever. And then there was every single time there's always some pervert that's like, hey, and like try to message you and to the side, you know, like a private message inside the chat room and like try to get your attention like, hey, you know, I'm a boy. And when you're 14 years old, 13 ASL, years old, age, sex, location, right? I was like, oh, my God, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, I love you. <laughs> you know, like you so you have those like kind of hormones raging, but you are not of the age to make a decision about your body and your sexuality and your virginity and your all those things. I do not think that 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 is an appropriate time. I think that like not even 18, like 18 is too young to, yeah, to yeah. me. You know what Godly. I mean? Like, I feel like you got so much more to learn about before you just kind of throw it out there or whatever. And I don't know. This was, what and then to have the it taken from you up here on the video. I don't know. This was way before like the, the computer being in your hand, essentially, you yeah. know, like oh, the yeah. phone. now you got phones. Well, this is what scares the hell out of me is that my daughter, I know she's going to be drop dead gorgeous. She's going to be a beautiful girl. I can already tell like that, you know, she's going to eventually one day be a teenager with those same hormones that I remember having oh, yes. with now with their phone in their hand, with pictures being exchanged all the time with, I mean, you can make like, I would have made some really stupid decisions if I had these phones the back apps. when I was a kid, yes. you know what I mean? Like, like even just taking like a picture of your boob and sending it to somebody like that could eventually have like long to, that could have major effects on your life later on down the road, you know, because people aren't very forgiving. They may act like it sometimes, but I don't know. It's scary to think about the, the just the decision she's going to make. And I want her to be her own person and a, and a strong, beautiful woman like she's going to be. I know, but I want her to make the right decisions and I know she's going to make a lot of the wrong ones. So I just hope that the wrong one doesn't involve some jackass on the, on the freaking computer trying to get lure her into the mall to yes. have sex with her. You know what I mean? Like, why do we have to Ugh. worry about that? That's I can't wrap my head around these sicko freaking pedophiles. Yes. Yeah, I cannot wrap my head around. I, I can't either. That. Well, and even like just the I, I was listening to Dr. Phil's podcast. He's got one of like true crime type stuff. I love it. And it was just like this. <clears throat> He prayed on this girl on the internet in a chat room as the same whole concept, but then ended up murdering the girl's mom because she was treating the uh, girl bad and all this. It was right. a huge, long story. Like this big passionate thing. Yes. And he was like, a, a, had a multiple personality disorder and this kind of thing. Um, if y'all are into that, that's go a check whole out. other thing. Yeah. Mental health issues. But so, yeah. Rampant. Yeah. Yes. You can't get help for it. There ain't no mental hospitals. There's jails and those are over. Crowded, so no one can even, well, we hadn't even talked about all the, uh, we can say thoughts and prayers all day long, but at this point, what's the, what's the point with the mass shootings and the, you oh know, God, like, yes. we haven't even talked about that since we've been gone, but like, what is the deal? Our world is crazy. I know, Colin. You're you're kind of getting me down. <laughs> <Don't I'm sorry. laughs> no, but I mean, what's what was the deal with that? I know that there was like 22 or something people killed in El Paso. Was that a Trump thing? It was, was a, like a supposedly get like out of a, our country a kind white of thing supremacist and, or something like I don't know I'm not I'm gonna misquote which it which kind of goes hand like, in hand with yeah like or he had some, a thing against Span- Hispanics and stuff like that but okay. um, huh. it's just it's so close to home it's just like uh, the 250 plus mass shootings and a mass shooting is categorized as four or more 
already this year and it's only august like, i'll tell you what i was so crazy. i was so like oblivious to a lot of this stuff going on and that's how i liked it because i just for me it's like i gotta be able to control what i can control and that's what what's it within my little bubble and you know what i mean and some people will be like you you could do so much more whatever but it's like really i'm just trying to make it you ever hear yeah, you know yeah. what i mean so to have to, i used to watch the news every single day and to and then i stopped because i was literally depressed about it and it would change and alter oh, my we don't mood even, for yeah the we don't ever watch the news anymore because it's all that's all it is is like four were killed in a car crash two right d- killed in a shooting da, 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 da. like it's just bad news non-stop it's just like, yeah there's never any like good there's news. there's never any good news hardly and the other i mean the whole thing too is like the whole mindset and your mentality like just going out to the movies and on our vacation we went mm-hmm. to the movies and the whole time I'm sitting there like, okay, there's the exit, there's the exit, there's the exit, you know, like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And even sitting in church on Sundays, I'm like, I have this like matrix type. Nin- in church, folks. In, in church. church on I'm Sundays. Like, and you're trying to look for the exits just in case. Well, and I have this like whole drawn out like Ninja Turtle type escape route <laughs> planned. If I do like, I'm going to jump over, I'm going to grab his arm, throw him down. You're like, you're like p- picking yeah, it out of the crowd. Like, like this, my, this is the one right here yeah, with yeah. the well, and, and, and like you see some movement out of the corner of your eye, like let's pray. And then like you just kind of go down to pray and then you're like, you can't even like focus on life. Like, and it's so sad that yeah. our world is like that. Like, cause you can't trust, like you don't know. I yeah. mean, it's just like, and then you go back and see all these videos and stuff and it's just like, good Lord. They, I remember when that Vegas shooting happened. Oh I was just God. thinking like, oh my God, I called my friends that live out there, but I was just thinking, oh my God, this is such a huge thing. And I remember like growing up, um, we would always go to city stages. That was a yeah, thing in Birmingham. Yeah. And then it was the Crawfish Bowl. And now it's still, now it's like secret city stages and all this, whatever. Mm-hmm. But there's always a festival. So I just remember how that was like a tradition. Every year we went to city stages and we watched the bands and whatever. And I just, I was thinking, you know, in Vegas, I'm sure there's lots anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter where you are, anywhere you go to these little festivals or you're going to a concert to have fun and, be, and meet up mm-hmm. with your friends and dress cute and have a good time and enjoy life and like these are those things that you're trying to do to enjoy life and you go to it and this guy's up there shooting like fish in a barrel over here uh, just yeah. pot just just killing people just because he's mentally insane yeah and you know it goes to the whole thing like well okay why are these people out on the streets able to do this well one the guns mm-hmm. are so easy to get and two, you don't have anywhere else to put them. Like, like I was saying, you have all these people with all these mental health problems. There's so many. I was reading statistics or something about like the prison system and um, how most of the, like, I don't know, 75% of the people incarcerated have mental health issues that have gone unaddressed and mm-hmm. trauma from their life and all these things. And it's just like, why can't these people ever get help? Why can't they be evaluated? Why could they get a gun? Okay, yeah. why the fuck can you get a gun and then and like walk in the store and get one just because you don't have any history? Well, that's how you make history. That's how you make a criminal record mm-hmm. is by do that first gun that that shot that first person. You know what I mean? But well, well, the thing too is is like what is the answer? Because there's that whole debate of gun laws versus you know the right to bear arms. You know the the amendments, and then it's just like I don't know what the answer is. But if and I heard about I heard this on another podcast, like if say the the u.s was a a business like it, it is, it is it, yeah. i mean like if you were in a job at a at a position and the ceo or the president of that business was doing a crappy job or was you know or not necessarily doing a crappy job but people underneath were getting killed or fired or whatever you'd be like mm-hmm. okay we need to fix this like i don't know what the answer is but like something needs to Let's be fixed fix it. yeah and if it doesn't get fixed then i guess we need to replace that ceo or that president like you know that's what you do you have your annual yeah. business meeting and then it's like okay here's what we need to work on and then if that doesn't get fixed you're fired you know yeah. like no pun intended with trump <laughs> you're right. fired but um yeah it's just like what is the answer because yeah, shit ain't working right now, and it's making me just like more like with the kids getting older and the. What do you think would be like, the answer huh. for you in your personal life, though? Like, what can you personally do? Because I know, like I was telling you, I feel like I just want to bury my head in the sand and not know about it. And then I, uh, the other day, Corey had convinced me to get this app called Newsweek on my phone, and I got it, and it sends me alerts. Like every time I look at my phone, it's popped up with something like Alabama two killed, or when I'm in LA, mm-hmm. it gives me the LA mm-hmm. news, and there was tons of shit going on in LA. You know, it was just constantly. 
popping up like all the big stories. And like you said, all the big stories are like people getting killed and all this stuff, which here's the thing. I think that this has always been happening, right? This isn't anything new. It's just now we have all that information. Social media, yeah. We have all the information and we get updated about what's going on in the world every you know, every the, day to our phone. It's not like this is new. People have been killing each other for a long time. They have, but I think it's just like copycat syndromes and uh, syndrome and like the glor- the, the glorification of yeah. getting your name. And I know a lot of news outlets and stuff <laughs> now, especially like Philly D on YouTube and stuff, doesn't post the killer's name or face or anything like that because that's oh look how much fame and fortune uh-huh. he got let me like, just I'll do this I'll show them and they'll yeah, know my so name now I think yeah. that in a sense does help but like like you said the first thing I do every morning is roll over check Twitter go to trending see what's trending and literally it's like Same probably bad. five out of ten times our I president check it, calling some guy fat there's either that or a mass <laughs> shooting and like or the Paris thing where the it's like you take guns away, they get a car and plow over a crowd. You know, right, yeah, it doesn't like, matter. The crazies are going to find. Well, a way. And then even even still, like maybe fifty nine people didn't get killed, like in or however many it was in Vegas. But say okay, there's an argument about like you can't kill that many people with knives. But then somebody went on a knife killing spree just last week in uh, California, I think, and killed four and injured seven. Yeah, like all in one day. Like just, I mean, not granted. That's nowhere near fifty nine. And like, but like that's not. Even even, that's crazy. not even like that's not even you know scratching the surface, Cullen. No, when you no. think about that and you hear these stories and you're just like, oh my god, that's insane! How could that have happened? What you're not like realizing, I don't think, in that moment is that that same thing probably happened in twenty other cities that same day. Oh yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like there's people just all the time getting getting killed and getting um, Chicago. And you know, like this small part of me is like, well, let them kill themselves off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like all the the uh, hooligans let them, Evolution, let them or, kill uh, themselves off right yeah, yeah new yeah. world order <laughs> but, <laughs> but not, I mean not really I just I don't know Colin. I don't even know what I am politically like yeah, I don't uh, know how to Meg was trying to tell me that I'm a democratic socialist and I was like what <laughs> I don't even know what that means Meg. but um, but I, I don't know I just know that what what we have going on right now isn't working and I know that it's it's embarrassing like I don't know about y'all I'm personally embarrassed by who we put in office and to, then, to hear that I mean I am too when I hear this kind of crap and just see all this tweets and like all this stuff that you're subjected to but then on the flip side I'm like what would the other party have done, you know, like with all the baggage that came with that part? Like that's, that's just like crooked politicians left yeah. and right. It doesn't matter like how how worse off would just it be? Just the fact that you even have this cast, this shadow right. cast over you of doubt. It's like if people even have to question the fact that you may have molested a 14-year-old girl on a plane to a yes. private island where you did whatever else to them. You know what I mean? Like just the fact that anybody would have to question you for that yeah, yeah. is like, Red flag, you know what I mean? Like, let's get let's get this guy out of here. But um, I don't know. Anyway, like, like I don't know, Colin. I'm just let, well. Let's, I guess I'm frustrated. No, 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 let, let's it. let's. Uh, I wanted to talk to about, talk to you about the gun thing. Like, I uh, always carry guns. Like my my boy, you know JJ. I was with this guy for you know five six years something like that, and um, he was just a good old boy, and he would like get mad at me, Colin, if I didn't carry my gun with me. Mm-hmm. But and I get that right, you know. But down here in the south, it's kind of more normal. If somebody has a shotgun in their in their window. You know what I mean? Like it's not as abnormal I guess but it's like I just thought like just thinking about all these shootings and stuff it's like what would I have done if that had happened well it's like the El Paso El Paso Texas thing it's like where was the good guy with the gun in freaking Texas right you know like why didn't he come to you know because you know somebody in Walmart was carrying well he's down there on that border town where everybody in there is Hispanic and can't get a gun yeah true (laughs) or I mean yeah they probably can but I mean and then on the, yeah, God, there was like 600 deported uh, oh my God. immigrants from Mississippi. Okay, let's go on to a lighter note real quick and, and show some cute footage of baby Sophia. Wearing, oh my gosh, yes. Some, okay, uh, so earlier, yeah, yeah, this is a good time for that, actually. Let's, let's turn it around here. But um, And then we'll come back to some other stuff. Yeah, I got other things to tell you about because I've been watching this show. But anyway, um, so today uh, we actually got in the mail. I know earlier early on the podcast we were talking about, you know, supporting us that we are doing this. We, of course, reach out to sponsors and we were able to get a sponsor for this episode which we're excited about because it's actually something that i really needed and really love right these are adorable like i wish i had these 
in, <laughs> Look how in cute. my size right now. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see, but these are uh, Simply Kids baby knee pads and they're for crawling, which is perfect because Sophia is like at that point where she's, I think, about to start crawling. From someone that has done um, uh, construction work, laid carpet, laid tile, and always needed knee pads and <laughs> know how bad my knees hurt at the end of the day. Yeah. I couldn't imagine learning how to baby. learning how to crawl and not having these. Not only are you teething, which is terrible, <laughs> but then you th- but then your knees and your elbows hurt because you can't walk yet. I mean, it must like it's a hard life out here. Baby for these shark babies. ones. Look at these. <laughs> They have sharks on them. All right, y'all. Oh, this, my gosh. This is seriously the hottest gift for a baby shower. Simply Kids is specializing in baby and kid protective gear with supreme quality and safety designs. These knee pads provide safety, happiness, and comfort for your kids during outdoor activities. They protect your baby's knees um, wherever your baby roams when they're crawling around without bruises, scrapes, or carpet burns. Um, they are they have, like, an adjustable fit, so their unique Velcro straps allow you to adjust the fit as your baby grows from six months months to 24 months so she can have these what if she never starts walking <laughs> and she can have these you know she can just walk be and walking and they come with these. elbow pads right yeah elbow pads there's tons of different designs so you can choose from multiple colors and patterns for boys and girls and they even have a one-year warranty which provide 100 percent satisfaction guarantee with their knee pads so y'all you know there's no risk in trying them out um yeah great baby shower idea definitely go check them out simply kids cullen's gonna leave a link and i'm pretty sure we can get you 35 percent off. I'm going to double check with yes. them. But, but yeah, if we can get you a code, we will. And uh, just follow the link. If you got a little baby, you need to protect those little knees and elbows. Hey, look at this. The neoprene. They're made out of neoprene, which is the same material as this Don't Tell Mom koozie. No ish. So you could have a protected can in oh. your, if you share this on Instagram yes. and, and all that kind of stuff and a protected child at the same time and just, you know, y'all could both be protected. <laughs> yeah, right? Everybody's safe. Everybody's is, happy. Th- these do look amazing though and she was so freaking cute in them. Yeah. And, uh, that is so cute. I love her. It's amazing. I, honestly, I, like, I don't even know if she's going to use these very long because this girl is ready to go. She is a girl on the go. She loves to walk um, in her little walker thing and, you know, she's just growing like a weed. I love her so much. She's getting so big. Big. It scares me to think that I'm going to blink and she's going to be Gaines's age, you know? Gaines is in kindergarten, y'all. Uh, no. Colin's daughter is in kindergarten. That's insane. Like, like, that's what got me to thinking about the whole dating thing and all that stuff. Yeah, like, before just, you know it, she's going to be dating. I was dating. getting a haircut the other day, and she was like, my 13-year-old went through middle school. Watch out. And I'm just like, holy cow. But, no, it's so amazing how this whole uh, podcast has segued so well together, like I was already mentioned. Yeah. Did you see the news on the Nest Cams, the, the new light update? The, no. You know the status light? No. What you, do you mean? You know what I'm talking about? Like uh, when you turn the Nest Cam on, there's like the blue light or the green light? No. Uh, you, uh, I mean, you, I don't know. I've just got the Nest Cam. Thank you, okay. Grand Dolly, for, for the <laughs> one, for the indoor one. But the other two are outdoor but ones so they just use inside. Too. We've, we've got like our house surrounded with Nest Cams and stuff for security, and we use them for baby monitors. And so the, one of the things was, was when we turned it on, we noticed this awful bright green light. And then when you're looking at your baby or you're watching it live, the light flashes green. Like it oh, like blinks. Oh, in, in person. In, like, yeah, in okay. real life. And so Brooks, every time you'd lay him down and you started looking at him and he was not fully asleep, he would see that we were watching, you know, he would see the light start blinking and then he would just be awake again. Awake. Like, um, hey, I'm here. Yeah. Well, so Nest, we got an email from Nest the other day um, and we always get, you know, Nest something, emails, yeah, something right. like promotion, blah, blah, blah. But Katie just happened to check this and she was like, did you? see what Nest came out with or came, you know, th- they made this announcement that they have taken away the ability to disable your light. So it is always on no matter what. And I wonder if that's because of the pedophiles and the predators hiding nest cams and stuff and oh. turning off your light and stuff. Oh, God, that's so and sad. Like, it should the, be the other way around so you don't have to be worried about that. Well, Just so I searched about- Twitter and it was like the first thing, nest light status. Da, da, da. People were outraged because, and rightfully so when you think about it, I don't know. You can look at it two ways, I guess. When we have our outdoor cams security-wise, uh, you know, and when they're they're not connected to the Wi-Fi, we pull up from down the street and you see this blue blinking light. And I'm like, oh, crap, that one didn't connect to Wi-Fi. I need to reset it. Uh-huh. But act like you're a burglar 
oh, they got a Nest Cam up there. And it doesn't work. And it doesn't work. Or, oh, there's a Nest Cam up there because there's green light now and it does work. Let me go around out of sight, cut the cord, boom, I'm in. Or, right. there it is, let me throw a rock at it and wear a mask, boom, I'm in. Or, you know, like. So, right now, the lights go off or they don't? Well, they've rolled out the updates to all of them to where they can't, but there was a, a setting in the app to where you could turn the light off. Oh, so no one could see so that no you had cameras. So no one could see that you had cameras or you wouldn't wake your kid up at night. Okay. And that kind of thing. And so now it's just like, golly, Nest, I know you're trying to like save your butt probably with something maybe that I mean, I don't understand why they would take that away in the first place. You said it's because you don't want, because what, what were you saying? Like, why do you think that they did that anyway? I think they did it because they Pedophiles they they may have had some type of situation where somebody hit a camera <sighs> in a bathroom. Oh my god, Cullen! Or something like that. I watched a movie about this, and now they're like, okay, we got to fix this, and the way to fix it is to turn the light to or take that setting yeah, completely, completely away. Out. Yeah. But the tape over it. <laughs> well, that's what somebody said. Black fingernail polish or black tape would fix the issue. But like, why would you? Why should you have to manipulate your device that you paid hundreds, right. of, You know, dollars for to make it to like I don't know. So yeah, there's a uproar right now with the Nest cams, especially baby monitor. You people that use them for baby monitors, and then right. security. Like I don't like just the other day when we were um, sitting here, and I was like checking in on the people doing the open house yeah. if, if i was watching that at that time they the people walking by would have said oh wait why is that light blinking oh, you yeah. know and then we'll see is so this is something that is going to affect the new ones or everybody that has them now it, it, the updates already rolled out like, oh it's an update our, so it automatically yeah all of ours at home have turned green can now. we talk about how weird that is that people can just come in <laughs> tweak your shit without you knowing about it and leave well, it's like the tesla like you can freaking get a car uh, your uh, an update on your car via a uh, freaking update that rolls out and you just have to download it to your car. Like how lazy and how <laughs> you know, are we like that? This is the way that our life works is that they, they didn't even just say like, you have to press this button to update your iPhone. Now they're like, well, we know that you don't want to have to deal with that shit right now. So we're going to do an update in the middle of the night. Yes. Two and five is when it's going to happen. Make sure it's plugged like, in. Not even asking you, just telling you like, yeah, this is going to yeah. happen at, at two 30 in the morning. Cause we know your, all your sleeping patterns and your habits and, uh, we know everything about you, and we're collecting all this data to use. You know what I mean? Like that's even crazier. Oh my god! Like the whole world is is scary. Meg told me the other day that she went to Vegas and took a driverless car, a driverless a cab. Tesla. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it, was it was a cab. It oh, was a taxi. oh, I've seen driverless those. Taxi. It, they like literally pull up at the airport or something. I saw one like it, and you literally just get in and well, plug in your destination and. Well, that's the idea, but the one I don't think that it's like legal now. So there was a driver. There was a lady that worked for the company and then an engineer. So there's two people in the front seat, and she took took the cab <laughs> and the lady's supposed to be driving she's actually turned around talking to meg and then the guy in the front seat is the engineer that created this stuff and he's turned around talking to her so like nobody's looking at the road and the car's just driving oh itself but while while the car's taking her where she needed to go there's the lady from the company and the engineer from the company that are telling her what's going on like right now the car's driving itself it's collecting data on how you know and there's like a certain percentage that they have to get under before it can become See, like fully. I, my, my Alabama brain cannot even comprehend. <laughs> it's a lot. Cannot wrap my, uh, even a Tesla. Like, I want to go visit Jared because he's got one. He's got one. I went, I've seen, y'all, there's tons of those in LA. They're on the road everywhere in LA. He can, like, literally just not have to worry about driving. And it works. Like, I don't, don't know. Don't they, like, have to plug it up, too? Like, you have to so charge you have it. to yeah. go a certain route to, you know, for that route to have your plug. There's like charging stations and superchargers. That and all seems that like that sucks to have to sit and wait while your car yeah, charges. Like, but it gets good gas mileage. <laughs> I mean, no gas mileage. It's <laughs> right? electric. It's power. <laughs> but though that you you mentioned that, and that reminded me. Um, I just read an article the other day that said UPS has been delivering cargo in self-driving trucks for months, and no one knew. Really? Like, dr- Amazon is delivering stuff with drones now, and now yeah, UPS... Yeah, how are they going to regulate that? I was watching something about them be, have, needing to regulate the drone in the airspace. Uh, I just, I just, it's mind-blowing. I want to like, start going out and buying right now. Don't take my idea, y'all. I'm going to go out and start... <laughs> I'm going to go out and start buying um, all the airspace rights to, like, everywhere in the world. Like, all the big cities. I'm going to go buy all the airspace. Because people are like, yeah, you can have it. I don't care about... 
it's like mental rights or airspace, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. It's like, ah, yeah, whatever. As long as I have the actual part, like, I wonder if I could get some cheap airspace rights. And then if I see a drone come through from Amazon, I'll be like, uh, 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 uh-uh. I shoot that mother down. I got this take airspace. The goods. <laughs> I'm, a fi- I'm a pirate. So like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm a pirate. Uh, <laughs> well, they do have like electronic, literally, it's like a shotgun with electrical radiation waves or something that short circuits your drone. I think cops have this. Oh, yeah. Because like, they don't want you messing with and the planes. It, and, and if like, you get yeah. up there and like, it, it's not, it's not uh, like a bullet. With- it's just like a, zzz, and it zaps the transmit the transistor radio or whatever, and then the drone just falls down to the sky, and they get your SD card and see where who you are and all that. Like but, think about the helicopters that were chasing OJ. You know what I mean? Like oh, think yeah. about all the ho- they don't even need that shit now. They got drones for that. Yeah, oh, I've helped people in the neighborhood find a lost dog with a drone. Like I'm just right? like, hang on, let me get this up and look. Now for this it. is what I think is going to happen. You know this whole flying car thing where we've all been expecting for years. Like, well, it's 2020. Why don't we have flying cars? There's some out there, but yeah, no, I know what you mean. But not that we could just, you know, buy, but, um, I think that it, when it does happen, it's going to be like a drone type thing. It's going to be like a drone Mm -hmm. big enough to carry your family to Walmart. You know what I mean? Like what more could you want? Right. I don't know. It's just like, you don't have to land. You can just drop a line. Walmart will send it up. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Here's your, here's the shit you ordered to go. Yeah. Where, well, okay. So I got two things The they already, they already (laughs) kind of have been doing this in LA, I think was the first one, this Amazon store Yeah. where you literally, there's, so this son of a gun didn't even tell us. It goes back to like, where are all these people that worked at UPS or, you know, now they're losing their jobs. They're losing their jobs. McDonald's has these machines that freaking flip patties for you onto a bun. So where are those workers going to go get a job? And then you have the, the Amazon prime store or whatever, where you literally log into your account, you go in and you take it off the shelf. And I think it like visually, it's like face ID. Essentially you can go in and grab a sandwich a candy bar and a thing, and then just walk out because, and it'll charge your Amazon account. And just boom. The way that money just flies through the, through like, the air like that too these days. Just, what happened to cash? Like, you know, people look at you like you're crazy. You pull out a, a, some cash to pay for something these days. Like, oh, my ugh. God. I had to write a check the other day because I forgot write my wallet. Write a check? Who does that? I, my wallet was What's in the cl- Katie's car. And I was like, oh, crap. And she needed me to run to Walmart while she was doing something else. And I literally only had a checkbook. And I didn't know what to do. Like, I walked up to the thing and I did it, did it. And then I was like y'all take checks? She's like, yeah. And then I was like, <laughs> yeah, I, guess. I left my wallet in my wife's car. Do you need my driver's license? She's like, no, just put your driver's license number on there. And then uh, like back in the day, they would stick it through that little, well, I had to sign a thing on the pen pad that said, you agree to the funds being in the account or else you'll be charged a fee. And then you had to check a box and do all this other stuff. And then she literally handed me back my check. She took a picture of it or something. And the receipt. And it had like void typed out on it. Like through they the They just took your account number, yeah. I was just like, oh, this still actually works. But like I just had to like write it. It was wow. so weird. I have wow. not written a check in probably since we wrote right? fake checks for Here's pizzas. The thing. <laughs> right? It's been a minute. Going. Here's the thing. Like our kids are never even going to know what a check was. No. Doesn't that blow your oh, effing it's, mind? It's kind of like a floppy disk. A checkbook is like a floppy disk. Yeah. It's like, what is that? We don't. We have no idea. That That's crazy. Yeah, it's we don't insane. take those. I mean, our whole lives are just going to be cryptocurrency. I'm waiting for Bitcoin to go back up. Colin, just in our conversation in the last few minutes, there's so many things I wanted. Like, I want you to go and watch. Okay, uh-huh. and I don't remember the name of any of them, so you just have to Google it. But the first one that came to mind when you were talking was um, about the webcam or the cameras. Okay, uh-huh. and the pedophiles and all this. Did you know <laughs> <laughs> that there are thousands and thousands and thousands of landlords? that put cameras in their houses, rent their houses out, and literally, like, just watch videos of people all day, like, women in the shower. Like, they, they're, the cameras are so crazy. You need an HD camera that's, like, the size of a of a piece of rice these days. You yes, know what I mean? yes, yes, yes. So, there is, it was a documentary or, like, a, it was a movie, but it was, like, based on a true story about this couple that moved into a house that were renting an apartment or whatever. Oh, and gosh. the apartment is, like, some weird, creepy old landlord guy. And then come to find out, he's literally watching them 24 hours a day. Like, and he's got he's got these several rental properties, and that's what he's doing with his time is just watching the girls in all these houses and like families. And I mean, 
tripped me out. Like oh my Airbnb. God, that actually happens, yeah. y'all. So yeah. if you're going to rent a house, like I'm going to need one of those sticks that you can go around and see if there's whoa, any electronics. Whoa, whoa. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. is the room bugged? There was a, um, there was an actual lawsuit, I think, uh, or something that happened like, um, you know, the in the public bathrooms on the back of the door are those uh, towel hooks or those mm-hmm. hooks. They have... You can get them off Amazon for like $10 or whatever. It looks and like a camera. It looks like a it's, camera. It's a towel hook, and it's actually a camera. No, hell and no. So every Why time, even make something every like time, that that's not for freaking for, pedophiles? For freaking pedophiles, yeah, or creepers. Yeah, creepy. I, um, every time I go to the bathroom now, I like literally shut the door, and I, I, examine, that, I examine that towel hook. I'm like, uh-uh. Oh, uh, so paranoid. <laughs> you ain't going to get me, son. You're so This is paranoid. crazy, though. Like, just the way you can... Um, the, the the like you said the little bitty cameras like even on your on the Snapchat spectacles like you just push a little button and you're recording right here from your glasses and Google glasses and all that right. it's crazy. The next one I was going to tell you about was so you what were was talking that one about. Called? I don't know. I'm telling oh, you. I don't, okay. I, I'm telling you things that I've seen. I don't know the name of any of them. So you're gonna have to figure that out. I'm for gonna yourself, Google but it. Google it. But um, the other one when you were talking, you said something about like um about social like i don't know you're talking about how social media and um everything's electronic and whatever the checks i guess whatever mm-hmm. so i was watching have you seen black mirror it's a show on netflix and every single one of them's different and they're all crazy and really trippy it's like uh, d- weird scenarios but like most of them i've are, heard of it and i've watched one or two maybe i don't know right some are good some are bad like i like some of them i didn't like some of them but there was this one at first i didn't like it i didn't know if i was going to make it through it but it was about this girl that um like so they have i guess uh, most of these are in are set in the future where there's like all kinds of crazy electronic stuff right <laughs> So you have like in your hand is is your phone screen instead of actually having a phone. Oh or, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I I've mean? That, it's like, yeah. or you can see you wear contacts that mm-hmm. like when you when I see you, it'll pull up in my yeah your profile essentially in my profile like, like your name a like Terminator. how we know each other yeah Terminator, Terminator. Shit, right? exactly these movies. So man, that one system overload the audio engine was not able to process all required data at this time. Okay, so we're using the camera from this, I mean what? the mic from this. I had a system overload. I guess I can't go over an hour on our, uh, what? what the heck, let me export this while we're still talking. Here. This has been a bust of Can a, I do um, this on Anchor with yeah, my phone? Yeah, 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 let's go to Anchor. Okay, good. Jesus. This has been like the most difficult, I'm going to just well, add one. How do I have system overload? And now we're actually recording with our <laughs> uh, with my cell phone, which is great. So y'all tell me what what um, speakers you like best, the phone or the or the <laughs> or the uh, microphones. But um, so it, let me finish my thought and yeah. then we'll wrap it up. But I was saying, so that Black Mirror it was crazy because everything's Terminator and it's set in the future or whatever. But everybody was based on your rating. Think about how like important ratings are. Like I won't look for something if I look for something on Amazon Prime, it has to be four or five star mm-hmm. rating. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like so, somebody could ruin your life if you're a merchant. <laughs> you know, somebody could ruin your life by giving you a bad review, right? Right, right. Like it's all about your five stars. And so in this show, the Black Mirror show, it was all about those five stars, right? So it was like, it was like you could look and pull up as soon as you saw somebody's face and facial recognition inside your little contact that tells you who that person is and how you know them and whatever. Inside of that, there is uh, their rating. And so if you're, a, you know, most people are like regular folks. They're three stars, three, <laughs> three and a half star. The, all the rich people are four and a half star and above. But mm-hmm. like, you can't get into certain places unless you have so high of a rating. So it's like... It's like your rating has to be five stars. Your rating has to be five stars or, or four stars and above before they'll let you into the fancy restaurant. So there's this girl. The show is about this girl That's that crazy. really she really wants to go to this. She really wants to go on this vacation, this luxury thing, but you're not allowed to go unless you have like a four point three or higher rating. And she's at like a four point oh rating. So she's really trying to kiss everybody's ass, and everybody that sees her gives her a rating. Well, then something happens. She loses it, ends up like everybody in line at the airport or something. Like they delayed her flight and she was rude to the lady or, Uh you know, something that wasn't just, it just made everybody super pleasant to each other because you don't want somebody to give you a bad rating. And anybody could. The janitor can give you a shitty rating and there goes your score. That's so, that's how the world should actually think probably how crazy work. That is. Like, what, what would our president's rating be right now? And, you know, like the. And it's just that that's interesting concept. And what's interesting is how 
the the movies and these yeah, but think things. about how many people you've cussed out or something, Cullen. Well, you don't want that, that bad like, rating. That are like, yeah, you don't want the bad rating. Well, think about how you can't, you have to like monitor yourself all the time and you can never just be real and you can, ne- you know what I mean? Oh, uh, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, what yeah, if that's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, what if you're just upset about something and you just want, like, the lady, she was upset that in the show, she was upset that the, the, the flight sorry. was canceled. And then the lady in a really nice voice was like, I was like, I'm sorry, ma'am, but the fight's canceled and there's nothing that I can do. You're just going to have to wait. And she's like, no, but I really need to get there. It's for my wedding. And the lady just kind of looks at her like, I'm going to give you a bad rate. And if you keep going. Wow. And then she just kept going. And then everybody in line was like, don't do it. And she just was like, you know what? This is bullshit. And then, and then it was like, everybody was like, oh. And then everybody took their phone out and gave her a bad rating. Have y'all seen that movie? And the one um, that you were talking about earlier with the cameras was called 13 Cameras. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, so it's scary. Is it um, on Netflix? Or yeah, it, I want to say it was on Netflix or something. Because I, I, that's what I have, Netflix or YouTube. But I need to look that up, too. But um, I want to know what that nightmares. one is with the ratings. So it's a, it's like a horror movie. Yeah. I mean, well, it's, you know, it's scary. But just the idea. It's not the best movie in the world. But it was just, an, and I don't like scary movies. But it was the idea that intrigued me when I was looking to see what I wanted to watch. It was this show and it was like based on a true story of this guy and then at the end you know how these movies that are based on a true story at the end it gives you all these facts like every year in the usa thirteen thousand people are spied on without knowing and blah blah Mm, blah. mm. and like just think about how many people are doing that and getting away with it i mean i have cameras in my house so when a, a nanny comes or the babysitter comes I mean, sometimes I'll disclose it, and sometimes I won't. It depends. Yeah. It's not like I'm hiding them. You can see my cameras right, if right. you look around. Yeah. But it's like, you know, everybody's house has that, you know, a lot of people's house have that stuff in it now. Uh, so if you're a landlord and you're a creeper and you've never been caught or whatever, even if you have been caught and you're just a, a creepy creeper and you want to do that you you know what i mean like it's your property you can have cameras on your property right, but then right. you're renting it out and it's like where does that i don't know I yeah don't know. well and the, we were in a beach house with brian and missy nelly and jared and they had one of those smart thermostats installed so they could basically control the temperature oh, yeah. from their own house right. and so as soon as i saw that th- smart thermostat my brain immediately went to like Oh, what else can they control from their house? Right. You what know? else are they doing? Like, what else are they able to like? Because when nobody's there, they want to make sure the temperature's set to the correct temperature, so they're not wasting money and stuff. But like, yeah, what else is there hidden around here? Like, so, what if you have like a, a like a, a lake house, right? And it's a yeah. it's an Airbnb. Like, right. think about how many Airbnbs you stayed at. How many of those do you think? Some the owner of that place wants a camera in. I mean, not everybody's a creeper. Not, not everybody has it in the bathroom trying to watch you be naked or whatever. But it's your Airbnb. What if you want to walk around naked the whole time you're there? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Inside, and you don't realize. It's like, you just got to start thinking about this stuff. You don't realize <sighs> that. There's probably a lot of Airbnb folks that have my nudie pics. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, one more thing I wanted to touch on real quick. This is a crazy story. Okay. Um, I don't know if you've heard this about this. This is going to be a long podcast. This is, sorry. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be amazing. We had a lot of catching up. We had here. a lot of stuff to talk about. And th- this I could is just, keep going about this I know. Stuff this is forever. so intriguing to me. Like, I could talk aliens and everything, government <laughs> and all this we gotta stuff. we got to get into that next time. Conspiracies. But, um... This girl, and this happened last week, and it kind of goes back to the like the rating system, or like who are you really on the outside versus what you portray online or on social media. Right. And I think we do a good job about that. Like we, it's pretty we, real. Pretty much, we are. Who, We're like who as we real are. as you get right here on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so we just don't curse on the other one. That's this the girl accidentally uploaded an unedited version. So she's got a Doberman Pinscher, and you, and being a dog lover, me being a dog lover, I, I just was sick when I saw this, sick Uh-oh. to my stomach. But she um, uploaded an unedited version of a, it was a simple, like, uh, plastic wrap prank where she put plastic 47 wrap. 47 million views. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is, on, it's on the screen. But um, she put plastic wrap up in front of this, you know, uh, doorway and tried to get her Doberman to run through oh, it and that God. kind of thing. 
but she accidentally uploaded this, you know, and it was a fun, like, spunky, like, oh, da-da-da, and she's re recently fell, like, had a lot of views coming in with the love of her Doberman and ad advocates for dogs, uh, dogs and, and, like, not... She comes across as a dog-loving, right. sweet, happy girl. And so then this video comes out of her um, doing this video, and just watch this. Okay. this is, I don't know if y'all have seen this, if y'all have... It's and called just, Keemstar. Well, no, Keemstar is like one of the drama guys uh, that posted this on okay. Twitter. But like, it is just... For this video, I wanted to prank my dog. Prank She's dog. over there. I put plastic wrap on the door. I'm going to have him it run out. Like We're just going to see what he does. I don't know. Oh my gosh, she's beating her dog. Oh, what happened? Hang on. If any... Oh, no, heck no. Watch this. She spits on her spits dog. Spits on her dog, and this gets uploaded to the internet. And she's the one like making the dog do these things, and then. We love you, or whatever. I mean. We love you. Okay. It's correct. We love you. Watch. It's just... Like, but you then. You can tell she's a bitch. <laughs> right. Like in person, yeah. But then like, the, I wouldn't want to be that girl's the, Then boyfriend. she immediately deleted it and then uploaded the uh, fun version with all this cut out. But it's like, how do you, one, click on the... Like, how do you upload that? Like, I don't know. Anyway, but like, two, like... I mean, there's why been times you... where I've edited enough to where I'm like, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I got it all. And then I upload it and then I go back later and it's like, dang, I forgot to cut that one part out where I like stumbled on my word or whatever. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, and then had to think for... Or, you know... Like, I was going to edit that part out, but I didn't. Like, I forgot. Yeah. And I just went ahead and uploaded. But at the same time, I'm not over here in real life beating my dog. Right. Like, it, and know, like there's been times really where me and Katie have, like, gotten into it. And, like, I've, I, it's in even at the old house. I'm like, no, what are you talking about? And, like, my the camera's down by my side, you know? And yeah. it's just like... But still, I'm not like we're not beating each other. It's just like we just got in a little argument. And I forgot to cut it out. Or I didn't, you know, I missed yeah. it. But this was, like, a whole freaking, like... I mean, then that video was yeah. edited by whoever That's uploaded it. That's just a forty-second little clip. Of and her just, just like, <sighs> just who you portray online is just—it's crazy. crazy. This is where social media is these days. It's like the likes, the ratings, and the yeah. way you look to the public versus who you really are. And just this just made me, <laughs> it made me so this sad. This is like okay. This this made me think of something that don't y'all don't judge me for this, but okay, so. I used to have a dog. You remember Zoe? Yeah, yeah. She was a Great Dane Bull Mastiff mix. This was a humongous dog. She was tall. She was big. She had the Mastiff size head. She uh -huh. was she was almost two hundred pound dog. She weighed more than I did, you know. Uh -huh. And she's dumb, and she's just like floppy and dumb and do to do and always tripping over her legs. And we didn't cut her tail, you know. We let her have her, or she had her natural tail. So she was right at like ding dong level for all the guys that came over. She was just slapping them <laughs> in the weenies, you know. Just hurting folk and just, la you know, she's just a dumb, big old dumb dog. She thought she was a lap dog, but she's 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. So, I'm having a party one time, and I have tons of people at my house, and my Zoe liked to eat shoes. Well, I, <laughs> I was so, like, she, you know, she's she was a, a year old, so she's still a puppy, but she looked like a giant horse, you know? So, you don't know she's, a, like, you're looking at her, you're like, this isn't a puppy. This this dog's 200 pounds. Right, this yeah, she dog. was huge. And so one time I'm having a party and I'd already got onto her. I'm literally, she chewed up like all of my shoes. I was so mad about her chewing my shoes, but I thought we kind of broke that cycle. Uh -huh. You know, she knew it was bad. She knew it was bad. I've trained her to where she knows that that's bad. I thought she wasn't going to do it anymore. And then all of a sudden I'm at the party and I look over and here's my dog with my favorite black high heels that I was wearing for that party that night. Oh, I like no. kicked them off. Because I'd, I'd also, you know, took in the precautions and, like, closed my closet door, put all my <laughs> shoes away. You know what I mean? I did those things. I was responsible about it. But this dog had my damn favorite black high heels. It was the last black high oh, heels I had, too. She chewed up all the other ones. And I'm literally, and like, I, my, my man at the time, he just, like, he didn't, he said he didn't know what happened. I'm in, like, a little cocktail dress. I run over and jump on Zoe. I jump on top of her, and I am like punching her in the face. And <laughs> here's the thing: not really. No, she's like, got yeah, my yeah, shoe yeah, in yeah. her mouth, and she just thinks it's funny. Well, here's the thing with yes, that: yes, they're everybody, loyal. Everybody at the party's looking at me like, "Oh my God, Brittany just lost her shit. She's a dog abuser. She's abusing her yeah. beautiful animal. What's going on?" But the thing is, is that with Zoe. 
she was so big and she was so thick headed and just thick. She was just all muscle. I mean, she was just a thick, big old dog that she could not feel it. If I went like, stop it, you yeah, know, and, like yeah. just slapped her or whatever, or, like said no real forcefully, what she would just be like, huh, 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 it's whatever. like you knew your the, if, the limits. I knew, yeah, but it's like. People looked at me like I was crazy, but I was like, she doesn't even feel this. I am, all, I am literally holding on to this dog, like, so I'm going to kill you. Give me my damn shoe. Yeah, and I'm like yeah. punching her. And she doesn't, she thinks we're playing. Yeah. She yeah. doesn't even know that she's in trouble. You know what I mean? Like, that's the kind of, so, I don't know. Part of me is like, I don't think she physically actually hurt the dog. No, Because no, I think the dog, rot, you know, the Rottweiler. No, that dog kept coming back because she thought that she was playing. Yeah, like, you know, she thought like, she was playing. But, but just, just to see her being the, nasty. Uh, yeah. Well, and like I've, uh, Ada's like jumped up on the counter or, you know, put her nose up on the table to get um, get some food or something. And you I'll go up behind her. Up. I'll go about behind her and like spank her butt probably a little too hard. And she'll like, Arr! And I'm like, okay. And so I kind of know the limit. Okay, right. next time I'm not going to spank her that hard. Right. You know, just kind of smack her a little bit on the butt just to get her down. But, um, yeah, no. This, was, that was, this just, was just like showing your nasty. That, she just that showed, showed her, her nasty. Like, and then she tried to come out with a Twitter apology, and that even got more backlash because she was saying that, you know, yada, yada, yada. I don't know. Well. Anyway, that was your news was, for the yeah. day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, we got so much. Like, we could go on and on. It's, it's crazy when I don't see you for a couple of weeks like it's been, then it's like, Y'all just expect a long podcast. <laughs> um, we are gonna try to we are gonna try to get some cool guests in coming up. Yes, yes. Um, I don't know if it'll clean. be next week or, or the week after that we're gonna start and we're gonna try to start getting some really cool people on and remotely and stuff like that. Y'all tell us who y'all would like to see. And uh, be sure to share this podcast on Instagram. Like, yes. screenshot it, and then show us that you're listening. And we're randomly going to select what five people at, that follow. You got to follow our Instagram first of all. Get some sweet merch. Maybe we'll throw we'll, a little something extra yeah, in there. Yeah, we'll we'll send five koozies to five random people or three koozies. I don't yeah. know how much we're going to do. What we we didn't get to the voice memos, but we'll do that next time. So oh, get yeah. your voice yeah. memos send in if you want memos. us to. Uh, if you want to hear yourself on the podcast next week, go ahead and send those in. And thank you so much for watching. I can't believe we're 60 what? 61. 61, 61 episodes in. Yeah. We couldn't do it without y'all. So keep listening. Go subscribe and uh, follow us on Instagram. Favorite this on iTunes and Spotify and Anchor and all that. Like, give it a thumbs up. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's blow up. We got to be number one, baby. <laughs> we got to get up from that number two spot. <laughs> we gotta get out of number two. We got it. We're coming for you, number one. Thanks oh, for thanks watching, watching. See you next time. Come on. Peace. Peace. Oh. All right. Ow. That was good. That was long. I could keep going. I could too. <laughs>